long time since we've been together and shared a bedtime story. We took a little bit of a break to kind of get our bearings about us with the shifts going back and forth to live church again and being online and in live church. But we're going to go back to bedtime stories for the month of July, maybe even until you guys start school. So I'm so happy to be with you and reading you bedtime stories again. For those of you who've been coming on Sundays, it's been so good to see you. For those of you who haven't been coming back yet and are still at home worshiping with your family, we miss you all so much. And we just want you to know that we're here if you need anything. Um, if you need more Sunday school lessons or more bedtime stories or you just need a you know, conversation, we're here for you. Uh, we kind of temporarily... Um, put off our Zoom lunches because people are starting to take vacations and have been a little busy, but we can go back to Zoom meetings if you want to. So if there's a need that you have, um, let us know so that we can walk alongside of you until this crazy kind of blows over. But for now, we're going to be back together for bedtime stories. And so here's our first bedtime story, and this one's going to last all week long. So this is a collection of stories called Frog and Toad Together. And Frog and Toad has lots of lots of stories. They're some of my kids favorite stories, but this collection has five different stories in it. So we're going to read, read one every day this week and then we'll finish our book on Friday together. So Frog and Toad together. Book one is called The List. Do you make lists when you have things to do? You may not make a list, but I bet you your moms and dads make a list. All right, a list. One morning, Toad sat in bed. I have many things to do, he said. I will write them all down on a list so that I can remember them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do today. Then he wrote, wake up. I have done that, said Toad, and he crossed it out. Then Toad wrote other things on the paper. Wake up, eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take a walk with Frog, eat lunch, take a nap, play games with Frog, eat supper, and go to sleep. That sounds like a lovely day to me. There, said Toad, my, now my day is all written down. He got out of bed, had something to eat, and then Toad crossed out, eat breakfast. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. Then he crossed out, get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. He opened the door and walked out into the morning. Soon, Toad was at Frog's front door. He took out the list from his pocket and crossed it out. Go to Frog's house. Toad knocked on the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog, that is very nice. Toad said, my list tells me that we'll go for a walk. All right, said Frog, I'm ready. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again. He crossed out, take a walk with Frog. Just then there was a strong wind. It blew the list out of Toad's hand. The list blew high up into the air. Help, cried Toad, my list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Hurry, said Frog. We will run and catch it. No, shouted Toad. I cannot do that. Well, why not? asked Frog. Because, wailed Toad, running after my list is not one of the things that I wrote on my list of things to do today. Frog ran after the list. He ran over the hills and swamps, but the list blew on and on. At last, Frog came back to Toad. I am sorry, gasped Frog, but I could not catch your list. Blah, said Toad. I cannot remember any of the things that were on my list of things to do. I will just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. Frog sat with him. After a long time, Frog said, Toad, it is getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad wrote on the ground with a stick, go to sleep. Then he crossed it out. There, said Toad, now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. 
Isn't that a fun story? Frog and Toad always have the silliest adventures. The story for tomorrow is called The Garden, so I wonder what kind of fun Frog and Toad will have in the garden. I'm glad you were with us tonight for a bedtime story, and NBC Kids, you are so loved, and we are here for you for whatever you need. Um, we hope we'll be seeing you all very, very soon. Uh, have a good night and a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.